Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using ladies' scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. Welcome to the panel. Today we will be discussing a very debatable topic, marijuana. Some say it's safe and the government keeps it illegal to make money, while some feel it's not safe and it's a gateway drug. One thing's for sure, everyone has a strong opinion about it. Today in the panel we have Mark Loshak, Kiana Best, and Jesus Flores. So Jesus, you are a smoker, correct? Yes. Well, how much do you smoke? It varies on the days, uh, whether it's a weekday or whether it's a weekend and it usually varies from one to five joints on a weekday or six to seven on a weekend. Do you ever plan on stopping? Uh, no. So do you feel you need joints right now to function, to study, to socialize with your friends? Not really. I mean, some say marijuana makes you useless, but 50 million Americans in the country use it, so that would make our society useless, but a lot of people still use it. So how do you feel you function in society using marijuana? Um, I feel like I function correctly. I mean, a lot of Americans in this country use marijuana. 50 million to be exact. So why do you use it? Um, Can you function without it? Can yeah. you go on a normal day? Can yeah. you go to sleep without it? Yeah. So then why do you use it? What's the well, point of wasting money on it? Because it's fun and it releases dopamine in your brain to a high level. It's fun. It is. Well, what's so fun about it? it? It makes you feel peaceful. You're a pacifist when you use it. You're not violent at all. Are you violent when you're not on marijuana? No. So, hey, Suze, how would you feel if you found out your kids smoke marijuana? I wouldn't oppose it. I mean, I did it, and I don't feel horrible, or I don't feel like I still need it. I mean, I could stop at any time, so I feel like my kid could do the same. On the panel, we also have Kiana Best. Kiana is opposed to marijuana. Kiana, have you ever smoked marijuana? Have you ever tried it? No. Never. Um, ha do you have friends who smoke? I do, but I don't really hang out with them when they do it, because, no. So you've seen your friends high? Yes. And let us explain to the viewers out there, how do they act when they're high? Like, they act like they're not in the right mind, that they're in some other world, like, you can't really get through to them that well. Okay. Uh, do you think it's harmful? I do. Like, it's harmful to people around them and to themselves because since they're inhaling it, it's like harmful to like their lungs, their breathing, things like that. And to other people around them, it could be dangerous if they start to drive or do anything else. Have your parents spoke to you marijuana? Why are you opposed to it? I'm opposed to it because like I've seen what it could do to people, like on the news, how people have died from like accidents and things like that, and it's just not something that I want to get into. And your parents have taught you to say no? Yes. Okay, how do you feel about marijuana getting legalized? It has been legalized in some states now, and it can get legalized in our states. How do you feel about it? It started out as something harmful and illegal. It's going to be able, available to anyone, children, who shouldn't be doing drugs at all. Okay. So also on our panel, we have Mark Loshek. Mark, what are your views on marijuana? I feel like there should be a limit to it, but at the same time, it's not as horrible as some stuff, some dangerous substances that are legal. For example, alcohol and cigarettes. Okay, you make a good point. Alcohol is legal right now, and there's a lot of drunk driving. Have you tried marijuana? No, I haven't. But I have a lot of friends that do smoke marijuana. I've seen, I've been around them when they smoke. And how do your friends act? Do you like the way they act when you're around them? Well, they seem more peaceful and less stressed when they do smoke. And when they're not smoking, are they violent? Is that why they smoke? They're not violent. They're just um, sometimes they're stressed over schoolwork, jobs, stuff like that. Do you think smoking marijuana makes them concentrate better with school? 
Not exactly concentrate, but it relaxes them. Seems like it. Okay, as we saw today on the panel, marijuana, it is still a debatable subject and everyone will always have a strong opinion on it. I want to thank my guests Mark, Kiana, and Jesus for joining me today on the panel. Thank you. When you pay too much for cable, you feel dejected. When you feel dejected, you need some comfort. When you need some comfort, you make a surprise visit home. When you make a surprise visit home, you discover something new about your parents. When you discover something new about your parents, you speed off with tears in your eyes. And when you speed off with tears in your eyes, you drive into a pizzeria that makes great baked ziti. Don't drive into a pizzeria that makes great baked ziti. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. To the panel. Today on the panel, we're going to discuss the latest trend around the nation. Parents were outraged to see Miley Cyrus doing it. Girls are doing it in school and getting suspended. And YouTube has hundreds of tutorials on how to do it. If you haven't guessed it by now, we're discussing twerking. Today on the panel, we will be speaking to young men to hear how they feel about twerking and what do they think of girls who do it. On the panel with me joining us is Aldo Battle, Ivan Gonzalez and Mark Losha. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Good. What's up? So, are you all familiar with twerking, correct? Yes. Hell yeah. Mark, how are you familiar with twerking? Uh, I've seen it all over the internet. It got really popular. And how have you seen it on the internet? Have you looked at the twerking videos? Yeah, well, I can. I got curious about it because everyone's talking about it. I saw I saw a video. Hi, man. Where have you seen twerking? Well, recently I have watched the news and they have mentioned my size twerking. Yo, she's fine. And my friends were talking about it in school, so I had to figure it out for myself. I went on YouTube and I searched up my size twerking. That's when I was scarred. You were scarred. How were you scared? You didn't like that? No. That you didn't was think disgusting. that that was provocative? No. No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. So, so Aldo, how do you feel about twerking? Where did you learn about twerking? Yo, man. Twerking is so fine. I go to the club every night, right? And, like, I see these girls, like, these, fine, these fine girls, and they just twerking it up. And I'm like, yo, I live by the booty, and I die by the booty. Okay, so these girls, you think you could bring them home to mom? Uh, yeah. And your mom will be happy to receive these girls that like to twerk and show themselves out in the club? Nah. But I don't care what she thinks though. She don't like them. I don't care. I just take them home with me anytime. So what about you guys? How do you feel about bringing these girls to your mom? Would you ever date a girl that used to twerk or twerks no. currently? No, it's horrible. It's such a horrible trend. Overall, it's unattractive. I, I agree with Mark because I think girls do it like so they could get attention, but it only makes them look bad. Okay. Uh, twerking is not a competition. Does that make you change the way you see the girls who do twerking? Or who twerk, excuse me? No. I think that it's just a way like for men to like notice them more, I I don't think it's nice. Mark? It's just all about attention really. And that attention is just bringing the attention of wrong people. So girls who twerk is definitely a breaking up factor. Nah man. Girls who twerk they keep their shit together. The more they twerk is just like I love the booty. I just love the booty and they twerk, you know? Okay, so what what do you feel about girls who twerk and put it on YouTube videos? Do you mind if your girlfriend, she not only twerks for you, but she twerks for millions of viewers out there? I don't care. I want people to know that's my booty, my only booty. Okay. If I had a girlfriend that twerked and she was actually twerking for other men, that, that would be like the breaking up factor right there. So I think the biggest consensus is that twerking is not really liked by guys. Guys are completely aware that girls twerk for attention and they don't like it. Is that, would you, would you say that's a correct statement? Yes. yes. No. 
So there you have it, viewers. The consensus is in. Two to one. Guys do not like twerking, so put those cameras down, stop twerking, and crack open a book. Jalen, Kyle. Jalen, you play nice. I'll be right back. What's going on, little man? So you got your game skills down, Pack? You might have your hands full once. I'll pick up the controller, little man. Put a bear. Keep your hands on my mama. Keep your hands on my Doritos. Jalen, are you playing nice? I guess the biggest question will be is, do you guys find sagging attractive? No, not at all. Why not? Because it's like gross. I don't want to see your underwear or your pants. I feel like it's stupid because most of them wear belts, but their pants are below their behind. Why would you do them like that? Okay. Well, you know, those are very, they're entitled to the opinion. But now I like to bring in a guy who loves to sag. He sags his pants and that's the only way he likes to wear it. Mark, please join us on the panel. Let's see his point of view on this. Why do you sag your pants? It's my comfort zone, you know? I, I like it like that. Well, Gianni made a comment and stated that you wear a belt. Why wear a belt when you're going to be showing your underwear anyway? Because it's my style, you know? I got to show off to all the girls out there. What are you exactly showing off to all the girls? My style. Okay, well, girls, what do you think about his style? Dumb. I think it's stupid. Why buy a nice belt to hold your pants up? Yet, let everyone see it. Mark, does this change your opinion on your style? Nah, because it's my comfort zone too. Style is all about that too. What's comfortable about wearing your pants below where they're supposed to be? Because I'm used to it like that. So you're comfortable with people staring at you behind all day? I don't care. How do you walk with your sagging pants? I've always wondered that myself, Should actually. Should I demonstrate? Yes, please demonstrate. How do you keep the pants from fall, from falling completely down to the floor? I keep my legs spread. So you waddle like a penguin? Yeah. Okay, have a seat again. I, I, I would think some might call that waddling. I would call it waddling. What about you, Kiana? I just think like when they walk like that, it looks like they're about to trip and fall. So I've seen it happen. So even though you hear girls do not like the sagging phenomenon, you will still sag. Yeah. Do you know the origins of sagging? Do you know where that started or originated? Don't really care much. What about you girls? Do you know where it originated? I do. 
Okay, let, explain to Mark where this originated, the sagging. Originated in jail. Yeah. It was because men weren't allowed belts to hold up their pants, and they would just sag their pants. It meant they were available. So Mark, now that you know it originated or it, the origins of sagging comes from jail, what do you feel about it? I don't care that's in jail, I'm not in jail. And you know that it just, sagging was a way to let other jail members know that they were down. Well, I'm not in jail, I'm not a jail member. Okay. So that's it, folks. As you heard it here, girls do not like sagging. Guys will continue to do sagging because that is how they like to dress and that is their style. There's, it's no win-win here. Down here. How can I help you, big man? I'm looking for something to make my party pop off. Check out the Beats pill. I'm portable, but don't let my small size fool you. I'm loud. And when I say Bluetooth, I'm not talking about my beautiful hue, baby. Or will it make my party pop off? This is some mythical unicorn stuff, man. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. I'm in a brand new drop top roar with three three. Yeah. Tired of being in the middle of trial with three snitches. that super famous documentary called Super Size Me. Today on the panel we are going to be discussing fast food. We all know what it does to our bodies. We've all seen what's in the actual meat product and now we'll have a discussion with our panel Ivan, Kiana and Jesus on why they still eat it or why they don't eat it. Okay so let's start with Jesus. Are you a fan of fast food? Yes. So have you seen the movie Super Size Me? You've never seen Super Size Me. So you have no idea what you're eating on when you eat McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. Okay, do you care to know? I mean, I'd like to have an understanding, but I'm pretty comfortable with just eating it. It's very good. Oh, so you like, you really enjoy it. Yes. Kiana, have you seen the movie Super Size Me? I have. And after you saw that movie, do you still eat fast food? I do. Really? Yeah. So explain to us, um, the movie had very graphic and very questionable images and you still eat the fast food? Yeah, it did, but it's still good food, like, it's still edible, just because I know what's in it isn't going to deter me from eating good food. Okay, what about you, Ivan? How do you feel about fast food? Well, after watching a few documentaries, including Super Size Me, I, it has completely changed my mind. I used to eat fast food, but I have learned my lesson, and I no longer eat it. What did you take most from the documentary? I took that it wasn't real food. It was either it was not real food, or it was made out of bones and ears and tongues, which is disgusting. Did you know that, Hessels? Did he just enlighten you to something? Knowing that those chicken nuggets you eat may be made out of tongues. Are you still going to eat them tomorrow? Human tongues or animal tongues? Explain to him, Ivan. Well, I, based on what I have seen, it could vary from animal tongue, of course. It does taste really good, though. Yes. Well, you don't know what it is. So, Kiana, you know what it is. You've seen the documentary. You know it could be tongue, hooves, whatever. You'll still eat it. I will, because it's cheap. And it's good, and I can get it really quickly. I think Kiana has brought a very good point. It is cheap food, and that's what the argument is. That it is cheap food, a lot of mothers like to give it to their kids because they don't have time to come home after work and start cooking. It's very quick. And it's quick. Well, let's get back to the subject. It's not real food because it's all made out of, like, fake products. Well, if it's food, Eat it. Well, it's unhealthy, or it doesn't really have any benefits towards your body. That's why you eat it in moderation, not all the time. That's well, it's a leading cause of obesity, which is causing Americans to be out of shape. I'm in shape. Round is a shape. Well, there you have it, folks. McDonald's, no matter what it is, people are still going to eat it. It's cheap, it's fast, and to some of these people, good. Thank you.